So here's kind of just, so here's an overview of the pantry and I stock um, dry milk from the LDS cannery. And then um, I have shelves that line all the walls, more uh, milk back here. And then this is our pantry. This is what I'm working on. This will be the last one that fits in here. So when that's full, even up top, then we're kind of um, maxed out. Down here, what you've seen here is toilet paper. Um, I buy in bulk from Costco. Now again, when you see this uh, pantry, we are a large family. Um, at least nine people are usually here. I have nine children, a couple have moved out, but they come and go. So I plan for 11 to 12 people because of um, my mother-in-law also who we um, plan for. So this is just kind of an overview and then we can kind of go over how I organize. So hopefully it'll give you ideas um, right here. Ignore um, pictures and stuff here. It's, uh, but this is the first shelf when you walk in and this is my condiments. And so as you can see, um, if you keep your stuff organized and you can quickly see how many you have and how much you need to restock. So down at the bottom here are my cream soups. I'm sorry, you can't see those as well, but um, here, let's see if we can get down here. So doing good on cream of mushroom soups. I obviously need to restock um, some of the other varieties like cream of celery, broccoli, cheese, and then I just keep a little bit of extra um, Velveeta things down here. Then I have mustards, different kinds, and ginger, some of my spices that can be stored. Ketchup and mustard on this shelf. And so when I look at shelves, when I go to restock, I can actually just look at them and see exactly what I need. This is my salad dressing and salad makings. Um, most stuff I buy from Costco or Azure Standard. Got some croutons and then um, mainly we do ranch and then Italian and we have a few other ones. This shelf has some of my um, like Asian seasoning, sesame oil, oyster, fish, soy sauce, amino acids, A1, and then barbecue, teriyaki and some some oriental pastes and things back here up here i have some of my um vinegars uh, and wine cooking wines and then up here is some random everything it's not perfectly but it's organized enough so that i know where to look uh, i do have more spices that need to come in here here is buckets that i have i have one extra flour i tend to not keep a whole lot of flour on hand Oh, actually, maybe I have two um, because it only lasts for so long, but I do keep wheat berries in a much bigger quantity. I have powdered eggs. This is my chocolate chips and brown sugar down here. This is my raw sugar and then um, things that I'm uh, freeze drying from my freeze dryer are right here. This is kind of my pasta and oil section. I actually have only four ghee, but I do have another three olive oils and I have about six coconut oils that haven't made the shelf yet. Move my water, um, lots of pasta. So like in this case, I can fit three Parmesan cheeses in this section, but obviously I haven't restocked for a while. So I only have one. And so next time I go to Costco, I will get two more. And then I know that I'm stocked as much as the space allows for that item. Down here are just some random sauces. I usually make a lot of sauces from scratch. And so this is kind of just um, a few random ones that sound good. And if I need something in a hurry, so I don't have a huge selection of that. Lots of mac and cheese, lots of cheap ramen noodles. Those things, if the power goes out, are very easy to make um, if you need to. This is all my extra, um, you know, things that I cook with. So pots when I can, a canner, my bread machine, my crock pot and my pasta maker and my wheat um, grinder, ice cream maker. Obviously my freeze, right? This section, these need to go over to the pasta section and then I will have one more section. Here's my extra um, pails and lids, my gamma lids. And then I'll have one more section that I can use to store food. Over here is kind of what I call like the drink or liquid section. I've got almond milks, coconut, some orange juice, some more dry milk, soy, and then um, some baking things right here. So you got the evaporated milk, coconut, 
milk, as you can see. Um, I don't have quite enough coconut milk that I would want. And so that needs to be restocked. And I do store a little bit of um, gluten-free flour. This is all extras, more top ramen, more mac and cheese, SpaghettiOs, some treats like um, brownies, and then lots of instant oatmeals. Good. Those are kind of good for if you had a power outage. I think big thing of molasses, I use that for bread making. And then down here, um, lots of vinegars and oils. So overview, if you kind of organize your stuff by um, section, so this section is uh, fruits or sugars, um, lots of jellies, dehydrated or freeze-dried canned stuff. A lot of that I stocked up on before I bought the freeze dryer, um, but still good to have and ready. So I have jellies and all my fruit. And so when I look at this, I can see applesauce down here. I've got pumpkin down at the bottom. Um, I've got enough pineapple because this whole shelf is kind of dedicated mainly to pineapple, a little bit of canned grapefruit. Um, but if I had the money and as I'm restocking, uh, the goal is to have all of these completely filled. And so obviously I need more fruit cocktail. This is a working pantry. We don't just stock it and then not use it. We're always eating out of it and then refilling in the back. So my peaches section, pears, fruit cocktail, pineapple, applesauce down here is pumpkin and some uh, dry like raisins, cra craisins, things like that. And then this is the vegetable section. And I have more random things like I don't really cook a lot with asparagus in cans, but I do like to have a variety of canned goods in case it becomes something that I have to do more often. Um, but peas, mushrooms, carrots, olives, sauerkraut, a little bit of spinach, lots of potatoes. Potatoes and carrots are easy to cook with in cans. So are peas, corn, and green beans. Then I have artichoke hearts. And then on the bottom behind this toilet paper is just more. Uh, of the main ones, which is green beans and corn. So that is my vegetable section over here. Actually on the top, I didn't show you. I've got some roasted peppers, asparagus, pepperoncinis, and green chilies and pickled beets as well. So that's my vegetable section. Next we have my protein section, probably one of the most important sections that you will do. Let's pull this out. Um, and you're going to want to keep, if you like to have protein on hand, a nicely stocked protein section. So we have things like shredded beef, bacon bits and bacon fat, spam, a little bit of pepperoni, tuna, and salmon, both albacore and just plain, and then sardines. And then down here we've got some crab meat, some little tiny shrimp, corned beef hash, roast beef, pulled pork, pork sausage, and just pork in a can from Whirling. Down at the bottom we have beef, taco filling, hamburger, corned beef, more corned beef hash, and the very bottom, Spam, Vienna sausages, um, a little of these little pâtés, I actually use those for training my puppies, so that's for puppies. Turkey, although we could eat it, obviously. Uh, canned chicken and more canned chicken. So that's my protein section. This is kind of more protein and then easy foods. So obviously peanut butter, Nutella, protein, a little bit of my sweets like honey um, in the section. Then mainly just soups, right, all the way down until the bottom. So lots of variety of soup. This could is kind of, um, it's February, no, it's March now. We do need to refill the soups, but here's tomato, chicken, noodle section, and then kind of just variety that I need to restock. And the things that like my kids like, which are ravioli, spaghettios, and the very bottom is tomato sauce, tomato paste, and diced tomatoes, um, which I feel like that could even be restocked. The next one is cereal and breakfast foods. So lots of pancake mix. Six of these are good for our family. We don't eat pancakes all that much, but we can use one of those about every two months. And so I do have 
um, six on the shelf and I actually have one in the everyday pantry. Um, maple syrup, only one syrup. So I would need to refill my syrups next time I go. And then hash browns. I usually like to keep two of these. I'm down to one and then some like breakfast um, drinks and things in here. And then just lots of variety of cereal and uh, granola. The next section and the final section that I will show you guys is kind of my beans, uh, which is also obviously a protein. Um, but we've got refried beans, Bush's beans. This is a little um, brown bread. Um, salsa and some enchilada sauce, kind of more Mexican stuff over here on the left. And then lots of beans um, from black beans, chickpeas, great northern, black eyed, lots of um, canned. In the summer we like to barbecue and use baked beans. So lots of variety of those. Also can use them obviously for chilies and other soups. And then up here is more refried beans, lots of that, pinto beans, chicken chili, and regular chilies variety. And then we have lots of dried beans, not just that up there. Um, but this is our, what I call my yearly pantry. This is a section that if I couldn't go to the store, then I should be able to eat out of this, not with a ton of variety. Obviously we get sick of things, but I do have enough um, dried milk and um, foods in here that this is about a year supply of food for my large family with the exception of what you're not seeing in here is um so there's enough food obviously we would run out if we could never shop again we'd run out of things like pasta and you know mac and cheese this would not be a year supply but it's a year supply when you take everything together meaning you know eating pancakes more than we normally do but we would be eating pancakes to use it up um we would run out of peanut butter and well, this is probably enough jelly. I don't probably have quite enough peanut butter for a year, even if you use it on a regular basis. Eventually you'd run out of soups, but you have plenty of meat, veggies, enough all together that I have a year's supply. Um, with the exception of what's not in here is bulk um, grains, which grains and rice, which we do have. They're just not in this room um, enough to supplement. So like beans and rice, or wheat to make breads and other baked goods. I do have enough of that for a year. It just doesn't fit in here, so it's not in this room. 